All right. <clears throat> okay. Welcome to my journey and thank you very much everyone for joining us tonight. Today depend on where do you live. And today I have prepared some good story that I like to share with you after our meditation. Yes, two kinds of happiness. I may have mentioned this somewhere a long time ago in Inner Peace Sunday, I think, but I might not. Also, it's been quite some time, maybe, you know, it needs some brushing off our memory a little bit so that way we can also progress in our uh, wisdom. And so today, as it is my journey, and we have some adjustment a little bit so that way those who are practice meditation for quite some time and those who are new can also adjust and adapt together. So that's what is today is that we are going to have quite some little bit longer meditation than we normally do. do. Normally we meditate about 25 to 30 minutes on each session. And today, what we are going to do is we're gonna do meditation a little bit longer, which is about maybe 40 minutes, but at the very least that will give you a glimpse, <clears throat> a glimpse of uh, longer meditation is like. But if sometime along the way you feel, oh, this is it for me, that's okay. You can, you know, just, you know, take it easy and come back again to listen to our session too. That will be fine. And today, so that's, therefore today, this is what we're going to do from now on, on every Saturday session. So that's next week. What is going to be like, listen for more announcement after our meditation. There are more programs coming up as well. And we just have a meeting yesterday, big meeting too. So we have something going on. So stay tuned, next month will be a brushing off almost everything. So now you're going to have a good learning and also practicing, not only just me alone, I will invite more teaching month to come as well. Therefore, there will be more new fest and Lekula fest as well. That's, hopefully we are going to have a good time. Everyone now, so I think I don't want to keep us too much time on listening to me, blah, blah, blah. Therefore, let's go on straight to our meditation, shall we? Then we can enjoy our Buddhist wisdom after this. All right, <clears throat> let's begin our inner peace time. Now, before we begin further, allow me to check your meditation experience. For those of you or anyone who are Feeling relaxed, could you raise your hand, please? All right, thank you. Anyone experience inner light or brightness inside? This time, so, so, no. How about time fly by very fast? Raise your hand. Yeah. Wow, that's good. We meditate almost 40 minutes, or actually to be exact, 39 minutes. So that's close, right? <laughs> So that's a good time. First time we do this long. I hope you like it. Well, when you are meditate, it doesn't matter how you start, but once you had gained your relaxation, you had gained your inner peace that was count. The feeling that makes you feel content of, of where you are, feeling of you know peace, the joy, that's the that's the first step to you know inner peace inside and find a true happiness within. As it is today, we all know now that since we were working now, we are growing up, what we are striving on to look for, forward to is our happiness. But in fact, there are many things that we experience in our life and we thought that this is happiness. That's it. It's just like that. So therefore today, I just like to clarify a little bit about the happiness that mentions taught in the scripture by the Buddha's words. So today we will learn that in fact, Buddhism categorizes happiness into two kinds. Okay, and this anyone, I'm sure you have may have come across one or some or all of them too. What are they? Let's take a look. two kinds of happiness, all right? Just mentioned earlier, happiness itself, there are many that one has experienced since they were growing up and experienced a lot of things with their life. So today, 
we are going to learn on today. According to Buddhas, there are two kinds of happiness that everyone around the world can experience. And they are one, temporary happiness, two, permanent happiness. Let me repeat. One, temporary happiness, two, permanent. These happiness, it is common thing that many people experience, but the one that many people experience most are what we call temporary. By temporary, it is a common that everyone has and which striving on to look forward. They are one, happiness from gaining wealth. We all work to make a living. When we, went, when we get paid, we get our income. Wow, happy. Like when you go to casino, you put on the money in a slot machine and you get 777. Yes, happiness from gaining money. Lucky. That's it is that everyone getting. But little they know is that that's not just for temporary. For example, if you got, oh, today I was so suffer, but I don't have any bit of money left. So I bought a lottery ticket and just, it's turned out I won a lottery. Happy, right? Yes, you get a lottery, you want it. But when you get a lot of money, the news spread. A lot of people, people come to seek for your help. Oh, can you loan me some money? There you go. It's difficult to say no. And now from happiness turn into <laughs> suffering. That is one. That is why it said temporary happiness. The second temporary happiness one we can is that happiness from spending well for the benefit for the benefit of oneself. In other words, when you get money, when you get paid, you went to buy shopping, whatever you want, buy a car, buy a house, buying food. Enjoying it, this is happiness. But when you're spending it, it begins to decrease. Now you feel suffer. Oh, I'm going to find more money. There you go. It's just only temporary again. Second, ah, the third one is the joy from not being in debt. In other words, when you bought a house, when you bought a car, if you don't have big cash, you have to pay by a loan. When you pay off, pay off the loan, you feel, ah, I don't have any debt anymore. I'm free. But when the car got broke down, you got to buy a new car again. There you go. Get into more debt. Then you're going to have to pay debt. So it's just only temporary again. And the fourth one, happiness from work. Happiness from work, what does this mean? This means working that earn the living but a working that you like, working that you love, something that you really enjoying it. Yes, this is happiness that one can gain, which is temporary. What do you mean working temporary? Well, you see, have you ever been like this? Before COVID-19 strike, you got like, oh, I have to go to work every day. I hardly have time. But now, work from home, stay from home, don't go to work. Yes, everyone, yes, I don't have to go to work, I stay at home. But then, one week, two weeks, three weeks. No, I want to go out and go back to work, see my friend. <laughs> there you go. It's just only temporary again. That's therefore, these are happiness that commonly everyone experience in their life. And therefore, it never really, really truly stay with us for long. However, these four are common and it is in the Pali translation, it means the happiness of being a householder. In other words, uh, happiness that everyone living in society, in the system that allow them to find such happiness. But one more happiness that mentioned earlier is what is called temporary or uh, permanent happiness. According to the Buddha words, this may not be um, exact translation, but I try to get it as close in English word that make one understand. 
The Buddha once said that there is no other happiness surpass a peaceful mind. In other words, the peaceful mind or inner peace is the best happiness of all. Therefore, in order to gain such thing, there can be only one way. That happiness can only gain through a practice of meditation or a genuine happiness from inner peace. So as you can see in here, no matter what you do, if your mind cannot find peace, you will not be happiness, you will not be happy at all in your life. That's everyone. When practice meditation, if you just found only the light, I mean, there's only a glimpse of contentment, a glimpse of being happy of how you have to stay. That's just only the entering path to the two inner peace. Otherwise, the wise people of the past cannot, would not spend their time sitting alone under the tree without eating or doing anything because they might be finding happy. That's everywhere they go, they are always finding peace and happiness inside. Some even mentioned this, that in the time, there was a great king in the time of the Buddha. This king once, he was you know, very wealthy and powerful. He owned a lot of land, a lot of people. But when he heard the term, the Buddha has ordained, he said, is it true? So when he, he heard that, he left the whole palace. He left everything to his, you know, his heir. And then he went to ask permission from the Buddha and ordain. And then one day when he practiced meditation, he found inner peace. He uttered the words everywhere he go. Like, oh, uh, so happy, so much happy, so much happy. So the people thought that, oh, this monk, why couldn't he just, you know, be, be calm? Why did he have to say such thing? Maybe he wanted to show off the people that he's enlightened. So he went, they went to tell on him, on the Buddha. Even the monk having this kind of discrimination sometime too, you know? So the Buddha confirmed that, oh, that monk, when he was a king, he could not find happiness anywhere he go. It's all trouble him with the powers, and with the fight going on, he tried to you know, gain more and more. He couldn't find happiness. But now when happiness from not gaining, not doing anything, finding inner peace is much more than he ever imagined. That is why he mentioned happiness, so much happiness, so much happiness everywhere he go. And that's this, what is meant by permanent happiness. If the mind can find one, it will be everywhere he go. However, there are things that one must undergo too along the way to find inner peace. But today may not be enough to, ex to clarify. Therefore, the my journey must be continuous in, in some other episode, everyone. However, before we end today, there are some announcements I'd like to share with you. Maybe it will help you too to get yourself clear out the schedule for your time for our upcoming inner peace. Just to confirm for those who have not watching or join our inner peace class lately. What is knowledge that we learn further in the next chapter? It will be once hosting every Saturday, first Saturday of the month. So therefore it will be the next Saturday, not this coming Saturday, next Saturday I will be in. However, some people may be complain, oh, I want to learn every week. Yes, I like to do that too, but you know, I. It's a Buddhist knowledge. It just can just come open the text and read for everyone to, to learn. You know, it needs some preparation and presentation. So it takes some time. But my journey, it will be changing schedule from Wednesday to every Saturday now. So every weekday, you will have a time to learn practice on your own meditation and save some questions for the teaching monk in the weekend. So for next, my journey, yes, every Saturday, have already filled out schedule. Next, my journey, whenever Chayanon will be teaching for the next Saturday. All right. So he will be our teaching monks from January 29. So create your schedule for that, for upcoming inner peace. And so activity 
so, so for those who missing at earlier session, I mentioned that there will be guide meditation. This time, 40 minutes now, we have considered those who are practice every day now should gain improvement from progress meditation. So we cannot meditate longer than normally do. And we still talk just like now, 15 to 20 minutes. If you have questions or anything, extra time. But if you have to leave after or before earlier, that's all right. But at the very least, this is the opportunity for anyone to come learn from our teaching monk. Next, dinner piece daily. Yes, Monday to Friday, same time. But I will try to maybe should start doing more new video now, maybe getting used to these 10 video that I already mentioned. So I have to make some more variety. All right. <clears throat> On the next full moon, yes. <clears throat> Actually, now, since I'm in Europe, I'll be helping out the full moon over here too. So therefore, there will be two sessions. One full moon for our session. This coming full moon will be held on February 14. It will be fe February 15 morning. So, so make a schedule on that, all right? But the actual full moon will be the light of peace main big event. It will be held on February 16. For more updates, I will keep telling you uh, posting and also next week as well. Waiting for the confirmed date and activity for the upcoming Zoom full moon on Europe and Thailand as well. Okay, that will be two full moon because next month is Maka Pucha Day, the day of gathering inner peace or inner life, so big event. So therefore, that's why we do two, two twice. And yes, since every Saturday now, I am helping out over here in Europe. Therefore, every Saturday, there will be me and Venerable Sander teaching. So this Saturday, last week, it was my class. This week, it will be Venerable Sander. So he will be teaching in the upcoming uh, tonight. So the time, it will not be appropriate for those who are in the Asian or Oceania. But those who are in America or Europe, there will be time like this. Every Saturday evening in Europe, 7 to 8 p.m. in English time, Central Europe will be 8 to 9 p.m. But in United States, it will be from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. in LA, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. in Chicago, and 2 to 3 p.m. in New York. That's the time, all right? If you're interested to come join, this will be the, the Zoom room that you can see in here for a schedule. If you're interested to come, all right? But that is for Europe, for those who are living somewhere nearby. But if not, don't worry. There will be times for their for upcoming half-day meditation retreat. Actually, it's supposed to be today, but it seems it's postponed to next week. So anyone like to join longer, one an hour, 90-minute session meditation with Qigong and all kind of meditation practice, you can come join us on this time in United States at 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Central, U.S. Central, okay? And so, yes, in a peace Sunday is already regular, so no need to mention. It will be the same thing. So tomorrow, more new story. And if anyone has not uh, uh, read or listened to this uh, book yet or reading this book yet, I suggest my aunt. According to her experience and our teachers here writing the book, helping her out, the healing power of meditation from the experience of people who meditate for a long time and how it's transformed them. This is the written by their experience. So if anyone interests, it's now available on sale in Amazon. All the monies from selling this book will be contributed to the Buddhist temple in the United States. Okay, you can be part of the contribution and enjoy and own your own book. And yes, I'm still stuck in with the podcast. Now everything begins to settle. I got my big screen to do the e editing, my microphone and the room. Yes, so just only the light is not really proper setting up yet. But anyways, it should coming along. So therefore, everything will be fine. So it will be continue to resume anytime soon. Just hang in there, right, everyone? And yes, upcoming podcast will be continue, so I don't think I need to go any further, but at all and all, I think you get my message today. So before we part today, is there any questions? Anything you like to add? Let me have some chatting. Ah, we got some from Miss April. The same, yes, 
and in a piece Sunday as usual, therefore. Well, don't worry. In here, we also freezing. It was freezing last night here. But now it's getting better. And look at the forecast. It's getting better this week. So that means the winter is almost over, everyone. We're going to be coming to spring, uh, maybe maybe halfway, halfway to winter. <laughs> okay, halfway to winter now. So getting, getting better to spring now. So, you know, when I was in Chicago, honestly speaking, <clears throat> let me maybe should stop this. May all of you be healthy and prosper, free from all harms and danger everywhere you go. Whenever you have time to practice meditation, we attain inner peace very easily without any obstacle. May all the trouble be gone and find happiness, everlasting happiness in your life, in the present life, and the next very, very soon. So, All right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for coming, and see you again next time. Thank you, Lumpy. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye, everyone. Have a good day. Satu, Miss April. Satu, Miss Kathleen and Helen. Mister Amar and Ashley, and Mister Paul. Thank you. <laughs>